It is a good time to be using XFCE. It appears that we have even more developers stepping up to the plate to make applications for the XFCE desktop, and this one brings a dashboard into the mix. We are looking at XF dashboard right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Let's begin. Let me put my eyeballs on so I can see what I'm doing here. Uh, as you can see on the screen here, I have their uh, page up here uh, on the XFCE website, and I will have this in, uh, link in the description. Uh, there is uh, some uh, brief documentation on this software, as well as a tarball that you can download and compile for yourself on your system. This should work on uh, most Linux distributions out there that are running uh, the XFCE desktop. If you are using Arch Linux or one, it's one of its derivatives such as Manjaro, Archbang, Architect, something like that, you can just grab this thing from the AUR and build it. Um, it doesn't take very long to build. Um, even on this slow laptop, it took about a minute and a half to compile. So, I mean, uh, not too shabby at all. Uh, and in order to be able to make this useful, you will need to go into your XFCE settings and uh, assign a keyboard uh, command so that you can launch this. To do this, uh, if you have Whisker menu, just go to your uh, XFCE settings by uh, clicking here, all right, and then go into your keyboard settings. And once you've installed this, by the way, you do have the XF dashboard settings. We'll take a look at that in a moment. All right, uh, go into keyboard, application shortcuts, and then um, you will just uh, press the add button. The command is XF dashboard. After you enter that, another window pops up asking what key combination you want to put in. I just typed in control um, tab in my case, and now whenever I press the control tab, uh, keys, it will open that up. Let's back up real quick and take a look at the XF dashboard settings before I show it to you in actual use. All right, um, there are a number of general settings. You can reset search view when resumed. When you mouse over this, this also gives you uh, an explanation of what they do, uh, such as uh, switch view when resumed, minimum uh, no notification timeout, uh, enable workaround for minimized windows. That it wasn't enabled by default. I figured I'd just tick a few things and play with it. Uh, always start a new instance for applications. If that's something you want, uh, I'll actually uncheck that because obviously if I have an application already open, I might want to go to that instance rather than having a new one opened. Okay, uh, mouse wheel changes workspace. Okay, I already have that set up on my computer anyway. And then search view, delay, uh, initial search interval. Yeah, immediately that looks fine. Okay, cool deal. All right, and then there are some other things. Uh, there are some plugins thrown in here. So we can enable a clock. Um, there's a GNOME shell uh, search provider. Hmm, don't think I need it. And then uh, hot corners. Uh, this is, will activate XF dashboard when the pointer is moved to a configure corner of monitor. Hmm. Okay. Uh, is there a setting for that? Hmm. I don't see that, but maybe if we go back into the general. Okay, and then there are a number of themes. I'm going to go back into the general to see if there's a, a corner selector now that we've enabled that plugin. Let's hope that, because <laughs> that would be kind of cool to be able to activate this by moving the mouse to the corner of the screen, then not having to have the uh, keyboard shortcuts. Um, okay, this is the default look at the XF dashboard. Well, since uh, black and blue is my uh, standard uh, color, I figure I could go with this one. But uh, there are some other options here. Auber. Then there's blue. Well, they didn't give me a screenshot for the blue one. I wonder why. <laughs> All right, we've got a dark theme, mint, orange, and wine. 
Uh, we'll just stick with default for now. And let's see if this gave us an option uh, for a configurable corner. Hmm. I'm not seeing that. Huh. Let's move the mouse to the corners. Okay. Well, hey. <laughs> In a perfect world, nothing is ever perfect, is it? Okay, well... All right, that's fine, because I do have a keyboard shortcut for this anyway. So maybe, you know, some things might need to be worked out of this. So when I press Control-Tab, you're going to see the dashboard comes up now. And if I'm just searching for something in uh, my menus, I, I can just type it in. So if I want Steam, you know, just type it in. Pretty neat looking concept here. Uh, and it looks like here is our clock. Oh, isn't that cute? <laughs> okay, and this is also showing that we've got applications that are running, and it's giving me a graphical representation of uh, what I'm doing on another desktop. Pretty cool stuff. I've got my uh, Pythos running with my heavy metal gospel stations and virtual box on this screen, uh, moving my mouse uh, anywhere. Um, I have uh, I have this configured to automatically flip desktops by rolling the mouse wheel, uh, you know, uh, when I have uh, my mouse uh, over the desktop. I can switch between desktops that way. Um, pretty neat little concept here, though. I'm not so sure this is something really for me. I mean, I wasn't, you know, really so hot on the uh, GNOME desktop, um, really. But this is fast, it is responsive, and I'm sure some of you out there might think this is a real treat. So um, this looks like a good job. Not necessarily something for me personally, but hey, um, it's always good to see great additions coming to the XFCE desktop. Um, Looks like this could use a little bit more polish, but this is already a move in the right direction. So um, I'll keep an eye on this and see what things, uh, see how things uh, transpire with this. Um, cool stuff indeed. It's always good to see new things coming to the XFCE desktop. Um, maybe I'll revisit this one day. Well, that's all I have on this. I'm not sure what I'm going to do next, but I'm sure I'll see you all sometime real soon. Peace out. Thank you.